Hey everyone, in this video, I want to discuss the GRE waiver. So due to the pandemic, a lot of universities have decided to waive the GRE for their fall 21 applications. Now, what you guys need to keep in mind is that universities don't do things as a university. They do things by department. So even though the universities that I'm going to show you in this video, even though like, you know, they fall under the category of universities that have waived the GRE, they're gonna waive it department wise. So it's very possible that your department may or may not have waived the GRE. So you need to make sure that whatever department you're applying to has indeed waived the GRE. Now, if you wanna to get to the list, all you can do is just go to this timestamp right here and then you can get to the list right away. But before I get to the list, I wanna answer some of the burning questions that you guys may have now that the GRE is waived off. So let's get to those questions. First question that you're probably thinking is that now that the GRE is waived off, what is going to be the admissions criteria? Well, the answer is your GPA, your research work or your projects, your SOP and your LOR, right? So these are the core components of your application profile. So these are the things that are going to be evaluated by admissions officers when they decide to admit you or not. The second question that you guys probably have is, if the GRE is waived off, should I send in my GRE score anyway, if I have a GRE score, okay? So most universities, what they're doing is, now that they've waived off the GRE, they're not even, they're not even gonna be looking at the GRE at all, right? So even if you send in your GRE score, if you don't send in, it's not gonna make a difference. However, some of them have said that the GRE is now optional, optional for fall 21. If it's optional, the choice is up to you guys, okay? So if you have a good GRE score that you wanna show off, feel free to send it in. If you don't have a good score, then don't send it in, right? So I would say that, you know, if you have a score above 310 and you have like a decent enough GPA, that score above 310 will help you sort of complement that GPA. And then that may, be, uh, that may be good for your profile. But if your score is less than 310, it's probably not a good enough score worth sending. Now there are exceptions, of course, like let's say that you have a really, really low GPA and then your GRE is comparatively, you know, much better. Then you can send in your GRE score in order to list, in order to like make up for that low GPA. The third question that you guys are probably thinking is that is competition going to rise because of the GRE waiver? Yes and no. It's sort of hard to tell, right? So yes, because because of the GRE waiver, you know, the barrier of entry to apply to these colleges has now decreased. So a lot, maybe more students will be applying to these colleges. So that means, you know, more number of competitors. Now, no, because you can't really tell what is the quality of the profile of these students. Are they students who have like a good shot at getting into these universities? Then they would be your competition. If there are students at these, that these universities are not going to take a se second look at, then they're not really competition. So is competition going to increase? Is it not going to increase? Sort of difficult to tell. But my recommendation is to, is to just apply, give it your best shot. Question number four, like, is this only for fall 21 or also spring 22? So most of the universities in this list, in this list, they've only stated fall 21. A few, I think here and there, they've also stated that it's been waived off for spring 22 as well. But for fall 22, or maybe the universities that have not explicitly stated for spring 22, it's too early to tell, right? So we can't tell how long the pandemic is gonna continue, when students are gonna be able to take the GRE at test centers and so on. And universities are not able to predict that. So they have not released any official information about fall 22 or most of them for even spring 22. Question number five, is TOEFL or IELTS waived? So in a few universities, they have waived the TOEFL and IELTS but for most universities, they have not waived it. So you probably still have to give in these scores. I believe that some universities have also given the option of applying to college and then, you know, getting in. And then after you get in, you can send in these scores later. But that's only a few universities here and there. And the last question, probably you're thinking, okay, what about non-US universities that accept the GRE? To be honest, I don't know. Okay, because I haven't looked at it. You know, there's too many universities to look at, so I can't really check if they require the GRE at all in order to check in if they are actually waiving it for fall 21. So I'm not sure about non-US universities. This list is only going to be for US universities. So with that out of the way, here are the list of universities waiving GRE for fall 21. So first up is MIT and specifically the MIT Sloan School of Management. They've waived the GRE and a bunch of other departments at MIT have also waived the GRE. Next, we have Stanford. The Department of Education at Stanford have, has waived the GRE as well as, you know, multiple other departments as well. 
Next, Harvard. The Department of Education at Harvard has waived the GRE, and a bunch of other departments have also waived GRE as well. Next, we have Caltech. So Caltech, every single department at Caltech has suspended the requirement of the GRE. Next, we have the University of Chicago. So they haven't fully waived the GRE, but what they've done is they've allowed you to request whether, you know, request to apply without the GRE. And this is gonna be true for all the departments as well. Next, we have Princeton University. So some university, some departments within the university have waived the GRE. You can go check that out. Next, we have the University of Pennsylvania. Some departments within the university have waived the GRE. Again, check out the link. Same goes for Yale. Some departments have waived the GRE. Go check out the link. And then we have Cornell University. Some departments have waived the GRE. For example, the Master's in Engineering program at Cornell has stopped asking for the GRE for Fall 21. And then the Operations, Research and Informational Engineering department has also waived the GRE, as well as the Physics department at Cornell has also waived the GRE. And finally, we have Columbia University. Uh, some departments at Columbia have waived the GRE, including International and Public Affairs, Psychology and Engineering. So in this video, I just wanted to give you guys the top 10 universities that are waiving the GRE. What I've done is I've compiled a list of the top 50 universities in the United States, and I've gone through their departments and then checked, you know, whether they're waiving the GRE or not. So I'm going to leave a link in the description where you guys can go check that out. Make sure you share this video, or share the link, don't share the link, share this video with all of your friends who are applying for Fall 21. And, uh, you know, just so we can spread out this information. Now, here's a disclaimer. I obviously haven't gone through every single department at the university. I've tried to go through as many as I can. So I may have missed some, right? So in any case, before you apply to a particular university, check whether the department or the program that you're applying for requires a GRE or not. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you. If it helped you, leave a like and subscribe if you want more graduate degree program related content. That's it from me for now and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.